Welcome to this radio channel and this is a quick video for a very cool little uh, item that you can listen to or um, it's basically a uh, beacon network that was built for amateur radio use but you know what if you're a shortwave listener these are really really interesting they let you know when certain frequency ranges propagate and to what part of the world you can expect to have signals so Sometimes we say, oh, propagation isn't good. I'm wondering, um, you know, why I'm not hearing my station, my favorite station, or I'm not hearing something. And you're just wondering, what exactly does the propagation support right now? So this is a beacon network. It's on the amateur radio bands. It's on the frequencies of 14.100, and 28.200. So there are no uh, beacons below 14 megahertz it's a shame it would have been nice i think to have um, you know seven megahertz and maybe uh, 80 meters and 160 meters that could have been fun also but at least you know you got part of the beacons and what's cool about this is listening to the cycle so basically these are low power first of all and here on the left side of this web page and by the way this web page will be on uh, the description below the, the the video so if you want to have the link you just click there you can uh, click beacon status and what happens is the beacon status will give you the real-time uh, status of all beacons so it tells you here okay okay means it's fine it's on the air off means that this beacon is off right now so depending on the beacon you want to hear on the left side you've got the call sign of each beacon which is pretty cool. The country, so location. And then you have its cycle. Now each beacon transmits once every three minutes. So there's a three minute cycle here. So if we go here, you see that if you were on 14100, so uh, it starts off at 00, zero then 010 is VE8AT, and that's 10 seconds. That's not 10 minutes. It's each beacon transmits for 10 seconds. What it does, it transmits its ID and then it transmits uh, three tone, which are something like uh, one watt, or um, I don't remember exactly the cycle. Um, we'll have to check. Okay, here goes 10 watts, one watt, and then 100 milliwatts. So it tells you if you hear 10 watts and one watt, you know that propagation is very, very good um, for that part of the world. The call sign is sent at 100 watts, as you see here. So it means that you can hear the call sign, maybe not the tones. Basically, what you'll have is this cycle of stations. So every three minutes, it recycles. So for example, if you are at the start of the hour, say you're at 1800 hours UTC, 1800 hours UTC will be 4U1UN from the United Nations, that's in New York and the United States. Basically, you'll hear its call sign, then you'll hear the 10, 1, and 100 milliwatt tones. Then at 1800 hours and 10 seconds, you'll hear the one from Canada. At 1820 seconds, you'll hear United States, and so on. And this cycle will go on for three minutes. So at 2 minutes 50, you have the last one, YV5B from Venezuela. And then it all starts over again. So at 1802, 3 UTC, you would restart with 4U1UN you, for you on 14100. And this cycle is different from all the frequencies. So it means that depending on the frequency you're listening to, 14100, 18100, 10, 21150, 24930, and 28200, the time differs for each station but it still stops at three minutes. It's a three minute cycle. It still is a three minute cycle. It's just off by 10 seconds for each frequency here. So it's a good way to actually listen to the world through these little beacons. So basically if you have a higher hand radio, you can just you know put your radio on 14100, put it in CW mode and wait. And you'll surely hear some stations. It's very, very, rare, very exceptional, you don't hear anything at all, except maybe at night because some of these are high frequencies. But in the daytime, you will usually hear at least one or two, which gives you an idea of where propagation comes from. And you just listen, 
You can brush up uh, your CW or Morse code at the same time because you'll be able to, um, you know, get used to what sounds the, um, the Morse code, what does it sound like for the call sign and so on. And this is a very, very cool little thing. Uh, it's fun to just, you know, sometimes I, I just find it fun to listen in and listen to where, what country I mean, am I listening to on these little beacons uh, that are very low power. And especially when you hear, you know, the one watt or 100 milliwatts, and you're like, wow, I just heard the weakest power. And it means that propagation is amazing to that area. So uh, check it out. It's one of the cool things that you can listen to on shortwave in the amateur radio bands. And you'll be able to, of course, uh, have the uh, pleasure of listening to the world. And know at the same time if a certain band is open. For example, I of often get, you know, oh, 10 meters isn't open. There's nothing on. I can tell you that 9 out of 10 times someone says 10 meters dead, it ain't propagating. It's just because nobody's trying because you can hear beacons. It, if you hear the beacons, it means you will hear pretty much all the stations there. Uh, it's just that nobody bothers to go on the band. So uh, it's something to check for, for sure. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about uh, shortwave, and of course, uh, you can ask any question that might come to your mind, please let us know. And look for this uh, web page description below the video. You'll have the link. You can click on and check it out. And why not try to listen to some of these beacons from around the world transmitting on shortwave in the amateur bands. Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, please subscribe. And why not give us thumbs up to help us in the ratings on YouTube. Thank you for watching.